okay, those people had left. You still need three yeah. people, maybe at least one person that's going to, you know, take over the business. And do you want them to manage the business? Do you want them to purchase the business? Right. What is your direction? Do you want to go through an acquisition? You know? And so it's just asking those questions of what their vision is, because it is their baby. They grew yeah. it, you know, and, and that's sometimes hard to let go and oh, hard really? to see another person, you know, maybe do better, like you said, than themselves. Yeah. But that's the idea is, you know, making sure that you ask the right questions to get yeah. to exactly where they're looking for. One of the things which, well, one of the reasons why you're in the role that you're in right now is because you've got a real knack and a skill and an eye for making things which could be kind of normal, mundane, ordinary, and making them extra special. And it is it is something that I've known from the very first time I met you. Like you just got these little, little thing that you notice about people and what could make things more beautiful in their life and just make things, you know, better. Um, where did that come from? I'm not sure. I think it's always been like, I want people to feel special. I, we're all unique and individual, you know, in our own lives. And I think when I meet someone new, you don't know what's going on in their life. You don't know what they're struggling with. You don't know what's like behind the curtain that could be something catastrophic that they just went through. So it's like just making their day brighter. Yeah. And it's usually with gifts, you know, but whatever that case might be, it might be just understanding and listening to them, you know, and I think it's just something that I appreciate from other people, you know, because I've had things that go through my life. And I think just everybody needs that. Everybody deserves that. It, I mean, every time I see you, or now your husband, I am a recipient of a gift. <laughs> Like every time. I mean, I just saw you for the first time. I don't know when the last time I saw you a couple of months ago. And you go, here, this, and you hand me a gift that you've been holding on to since Christmas. Yeah, let's be fair. It was a re gift today. It was, I don't care. <laughs> it was a re gift, but it was a re gift that you said, I'm going to give this to Jonathan because he likes. And it was a smell, a candle. You're like, I know he likes that smell. Who does that? You know? But like, that is, is that something that you can teach other people? Or do you think that is just like a part of your internal creative wiring I do believe it's part of my internal wiring but I think you can definitely teach that you can just create more awareness about mm -hmm. you know finding different things of what people like what they don't like you know um can be just simple things as you know what they like to drink what they like to eat you know you can find out things if you don't know it's it's about that curiosity and just asking yeah or watching things so that doesn't come naturally to, for everybody some yeah. people when they're having dinner they just you know they're thinking about what they're going to do after dinner you know yeah. where myself I might be a little bit more thoughtful and, and watch what they actually ordered and maybe ask questions like oh you know why did you like that fish yeah. or you know is there other fish that you like or you know just having those conversations and really finding out you know what is important to them or what do they like and that way I'm making notes of you know, what we can send them later. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. And making notes of what we can send them. 